Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Surviving Mars. And last episode, we finally got the shuttle hub up, this thing. It's gonna help kind of move goods around the base. And I just realized we don't have enough waste rock collection here. It's gotta get that built out. And I'm really looking forward to the research that lets us turn all this into concrete. This is kind of full over here too, so need more dumping sites. Whoa. Uh, might as well put another one in there. Actually, I don't want it right there because I'm probably going to build water around this whole thing. Actually, this one's in the way too. Let's stick them up here. As long as they're in range. Since we have nano refinement as one of our breakthroughs, even when the resource is gone, they still keep producing. Not very much, only 0.8 versus, what does it normally produce? Three. So less than a third, but we can upgrade these with the amplifier, which I'm getting here, extraction amplifi amplification. And what do I want after that? I might do sterling generators after that. Let's queue that up. And we actually have this, uh, actually this spires one. I wonder if this, it says all spires can be ordered for, as prefabs. I wonder if that works even if you don't have the research. Probably not, but. And I should probably have put a lot of these wind turbines up, kind of up on this mountain range because you get more power when they're higher up. See, these, these ones are 9.2. These ones are 6.7, so. But this is the only line between this power grid and this power grid. So we kind of have to spread it out a bit. And let's speed things up a bit. We do have rare metals now, so at least we have income. Our money was running really low. And I could probably put a second one in here. And the other thing we need desperately is electronics manufacturing. thinking of getting rid of this concrete extractor because the the resource is gone now and we do have more concrete down here so I might set it up down here probably gonna need a drone hub actually we got one there that's in range of no we need another drone hub but we're really low on circuits maybe we'll have to buy some electronics uh, Anywhere else we could put it. I don't think we have any room in here. Nope. We could put a third dome down here. How's food doing? Pretty good. I kind of want to get metal extractors around this uh, metal deposit so it's kind of infinite. Let's see how we're doing for metal otherwise. There's one up there. Actually, that's our only kind of metal source. We do have a lot of it. I don't know if we're going to have enough people to extract it all, though. This is kind of in the way. Uh, maybe we could stick a dome in here, though. Or up here. We need a connection point which would probably be where this lake is. Let's see what's going to fit in there. That, that would be covering our metal deposit a little bit. But we need that electronics factory and a medium dome is not going to fit in this little hole here. Actually, having this extractor here is actually really bad because it's damaging the dome, I think. Could put a dome here, though. Let's see if that's going to be... Uh, nothing's going to fit in there. So I think I'll put one in here. Research complete. And then we can put our electronics factory in there. Oh, we can get oh we got the amplify now so now we can do 
25% production, but for 10 more power. Which is actually quite a bit more power. We don't actually need more metal right now. We could do it on these, though. That would... That wouldn't give us much, actually. Oh, we're running out of storage here, too. Put some more dumping sites in. How's the research going? Okay, I'm doing sterling generators next, because they don't require any maintenance. Which is pretty awesome. What else can we queue up here? We can get a one-time grant of a billion bucks. More cargo, more drone battery. Hmm. We got large water tank. Medium dome. What should we do? What should we do? I could do a spire, but... I kind of want to use it, the sanatorium as the main spire. Or housing. Um, let's just do this drone battery capacity. It'll make our drones more efficient. And maybe I should lift off one of my rockets here. It has 21 rare metal. I could build a landing pad here. That would actually maybe be a smart move. Let's see if we can fit another dome in here. We could probably fit a dome here. If we clear some stuff away. We could actually probably fit a medium dome in here. Nice thing about these small domes, though, is they only require concrete for maintenance. I think the medium ones maybe require different materials for maintenance. I think I'm going to lift off early here. Yeah. Oh, we can't. We had dust storm. Never mind. I'll wait till that dust storm's over, then we'll lift off. I'm not quite sure what all these people are doing outside the dome here. Going for a jog? Looks like they're trying to go here. Maybe they're getting food. Seems like they're going to this... Oh yeah, they're getting food. It's just pretty funny how they run here and they don't run here. Actually, the food didn't go down. <laughs> Very strange. I think they're getting food though. That would make sense. Okay, I think it's time for us to lift off, even though this isn't quite full. We'll send this rocket home. Yeah, because we need to bring back some electronics. How about this other rocket? Uh, it's not even close to full. Dome is almost done. I think we need another dumping site here. People are, are generally happy, I think. We could get more uh, entertainment buildings in there. And we have a do we have a new piece of research here. Look at this. A VR workshop. This is part of the new expansion, I think. It's a workshop that basically keeps calling us happy, and there's a new milestone attached to them. Uh, yeah, 40% workers in workshops. I did a playthrough where I had uh, 10,000 colonists and like close to 40 domes, I think, and almost all of them were unemployed because there's nothing for them to do. So I think that's what uh, what this is for. Basically, keep people employed. when there's no real jobs for them. Okay, crowdfunding. The research is going much faster now that we have our research labs up. So let's do some of these. Drone printing would be nice. So would medium domes. In dome buildings require maintenance less often. That would be nice. Let's just do this water reclamation. 
and the university and then this emergency training we have an oxygen shortage we have a water shortage we have a power shortage yay okay our dome is up here and we want a passage because a passage hooks up connects them I think so we'll get rid of this lake and try to put a passage in there okay where's that right here let's see if we can do it there we go nice so that should connect power oxygen and stuff we're gonna need more water actually this will put us in balance because this thing needs one of each So hopefully they'll get around to building that. And then in here we need our electronics factory. That's kind of the main... Oh, I just realized I can't really put it here. I mean, I could, but our rare metal is over here. So our shuttle shuttles are going to have to move it over. Hmm. Maybe it's smarter to put it in here. And then move this, elect move, move this research lab down. Yeah, that would probably make more sense. Let's actually tear this down and put our electronics factory in there. Clear that away. Because then it only has to go from here to here. So electronics factory, where is that? Here we go. This will make us sustainable. Because we were making machine parts, we we're making polymers, and now we'll be making electronics. And as long as we have rare metal, we can uh, sustain ourselves. Resources are low. Oh, even though we're low on machine parts. Let's move this RC rover down here. We'll get some concrete going down here. And I kind of want to do a cargo run with electronics, maybe machine parts. Use up the money we have. How much are, how much are sterling generators? $640 million. That's kind of expensive. Okay, electronics and machine parts. Let's do mostly electronics and launch that, I guess. Yeah. Looks good. And hopefully we'll get this built pretty soon. Oh, we're out of electronics. So once we land that rocket, I think we'll be good. And maybe I'll put a, a rocket landing pad in here. Ten concrete. Oh, it's really cheap, actually. Let's just tuck one back in here. And we can always take it down later. So we'll send our electronics here, so they can finish this off. Shuttle heavy load. Yeah, we need to expand our shuttle hub capacity. Now, I'm not running at 10x speed anymore, because it doesn't really seem to be that much faster. The game's kind of struggling to keep up. Okay, machine parts, or I mean, electronics zero. We'll have our rocket here in a sec, though. Research complete. Oh, and I re gotta rebuild my, uh, rebuild my research buildings in here. We're gonna need more food, though. But there is excess food building up. So for now, let's do research. Maybe three research labs. Like that. And then what are these people demanding? Gaming, luxury, 
shopping. Let's put some shopping in there for them. Which is the... Which one gets the shopping? I think it's the grocer. Yeah, food and shopping. Let's put some of those in. And we'll put some parks and stuff in. I'll put some, uh, some lakes. Now I want to reserve space for... Actually, I'll just put them in now. Put a statue in the middle. Later on, if we need to expand, connect another dome, we can just tear down a lake. So that'll help research. Probably need some more living quarters eventually. Maybe a casino. Keep them happy. Oh, our rocket's here. Perfect timing. We'll land it right here. That'll bring the electronics in so we can finish this. And then we'll have electronics coming in. Oh, and let's get this extractor upgraded. I kind of want to build a bunch of these around here. Before this is actually gone. Okay, there it goes. Here comes the factory. Let's, we're going to run out of power here in a second. Let's start building some sterling generators because they don't require maintenance. And now we have the technology. Put a couple of those in. And I'll, that'll be my main power source, I think, going forward. Because zero maintenance is pretty darn powerful. We could probably use some water storage around here. Okay, that rocket is refueling. Got ele our electronics. These shuttle hubs, how are they doing? Heavy global load. We can make three more. It's going to cost some electronics and polymers. Let's construct three more. We might as well max this out. Oh, renegades. We have renegades. What? People are not happy enough. Okay, I guess we need a security tower. No one's building anything in here. Oh, no electronics. Okay. The cargo shuttles will eventually get around to it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this uh, research. The Martian Institute of Science. The Hawking Institute. Uh, next. And because we have that now, or because we're going to have it, I'm going to take these down, I think. Uh, these are not quite built, so I think it's safe to just cancel them. And, and then we'll wait and we'll put in a proper Hawking's Institute. And after that, that's going to take a while to research. Maybe I should have built them and then teared them down. We could do some outsourcing if we had the money. Actually, we don't have the money. Never mind. How much is outsourcing again? It is two, oh, only 200 million for a thousand research. Let's do one. We have a little bit of extra money. And we're gonna have to deal with those renegades at some point. We have five renegades somewhere living amongst us. Maybe I'll take out this living quarters and put in uh, security towers there. And then build, build some apartments in here. I do want to build a tunnel though from this top kind of plateau down into here. Cause, and then we can get to the research way faster. So we're going to stick one. These don't require maintenance. So we're going to stick one right here. 
and the other side down here. We might as well go... Uh, how far can this thing go? Wow. That can go really far. Look at that. Huh. But do we want to go that far? It'll save us a lot of travel time, so I think I'll stick it way over here. And that way they can get to this research, get to this metal, all that good stuff. Have to move our drones over here so they can build it. Actually, I think we're gonna need a drone hub somewhere in here. Right around here. To kind of span the, span the gap here. If I put a Universal Depot kind of right in the overlap though, I think they'll be able to shuffle materials from here to here to here. <laughs> there they go. We didn't really need food. Let's change the filtering here. We want... Yeah, we don't want food. We just want concrete, rare metals. Actually, we don't want rare metals. Concrete, metals. And I think we need machine parts too. 30 machine parts. Oh, and we have no place for this electronics factory output. Actually, no, it's waiting for a rare metal. Okay, we need more rare metal extraction. I don't know if we have the workers for it, but we'll put a rare metals extractor right here. And I think we need another, we need some dumping sites. Stick them up here. No fuel for shuttles. Hmm. We do have a fuel refinery right by the shuttle bay. That should be enough. My life consists of building dumping sites. There is a mod that lets you get a really big dumping site. and Maybe I should install it. I feel like it's too much of a cheat, but because it's really changing the game but it is a convenience. Okay, how's that research? Oh, it's gonna take a while. Oh, what's this piano thing? Oh, another workshop. Consumes polymers. Hey, Bob Ross. <laughs> funny, funny. People always say, I sound like Bob Ross, which is kind of funny. Bob Ross is a—he had a—he's a painter and he had a television show where he just chills out and talks in a very calm voice and paints landscapes of mountains and anyway, he had some pretty crazy hair. So I'll. Skip ahead until this is built here. Okay, I move some wiring around here and put in a drone hub. This is up in the top area. And we're gonna put in some concrete extractors here. Try to get this whole resource done and we had one here I took out because that was just dirtying the dome so that's gonna need a dumping site probably quite a few and a concrete storage depot get that up there now we're running low on machine parts we have so many wind turbines uh, that it's using up all our machine parts in if we hover over the machine parts here we're using 
4.4 in maintenance, and that's for all of these. So I'm going to slowly start replacing these with um, sterling generators. Because they require no maintenance. Which is a wonderful thing. How's our research going? Still slowly going, but that'll speed up once we get that institute built. How's our tunnel going? Oh, our tunnel is done. So we can send our explorers down here now. And actually, let's put them on auto explore and see what they do. See if they're smart about it. They should, should use this tunnel. Put him on auto explore. There they go. Nice. They're actually using it. Now will they come out the other side and continue on? Yep, yeah, there they go. Where's he going? Over here, I think. Perfect. So that'll open up quite a bit of research. Speed things along. Okay, our water is negative one. We should probably put a water extractor here. Because it's there. Resources are, low. Resources are low. Oh, and we got renegade stealing. Stick one of those right there. And connect some power up. Anomaly analyzed. So the power is going to be in the way of this if I put another one in. Oh! We recalibrated the operating spectrum for our scans and voila! What do we find? Large water deposit. Nice. Okay, we need power here. Let's go through here. It's not a very straight line, but that's okay. And we'll connect it this up this way. New anomaly. Oh, what about this one? Okay, we unlocked high powered jets and rover printing. Very nice. Let's queue up the next thing here. Colonists without proper specialization su suffer lower work penalty. That's actually a really good one. Let's get that. Let's get that done. And this one's pretty good too, but let's do that one first. N nuclear power would be nice once we have a surplus of workers. In-dome buildings require maintenance less often. This one's really good. Medium dome. So many good things. So little time. Let's do this one. Let's just queue up a bunch of stuff. Utility crops. Uh, I thought it just said drone printing was unblocked. Maybe not. Yeah, we can. We should be able to do some deep scanning soon. We'll have to get that research. Game is stuttering a bit. We're only at times five speed. Yeah, concrete production is going to be a lot better. Should we upgrade this? Uh, no. Oh, we discovered some crystals, which gives us $400 million. I'm not going to complain about that. That's pretty awesome. How's this metal going? Oh, it's almost gone. It's almost gone. I kind of wanted to build some stuff around here before that was gone. Let's take all these people off and build a few more metal extractors here. How many can we fit in there? One, two, oh, we can actually fit three in there. I'm going to do that so that 
20 concrete, 5 machine parts. Ooh, we're really low on machine parts. Okay, I think we have to do a cargo run here. This might be our... Actually, what else do we need? Polymers. Polymers, machine parts. We need, we need everything. Hmm. We're not keeping up with the demand. Okay, machine parts. Polymers. Oh, wow. Anomaly analyzed. Maybe I shouldn't build all these. Uh, we, can't, we can't even build them. I think we're going to be okay for metal. Yeah, we're just... We're, all these wind tur turbines are taking so much maintenance. But when we ate up all our polymers building the sterling generators, that's the issue. That's what happened. So hopefully that... Uh, let's take some of these out. Don't have the machine parts to do it. And I don't think we're going to run out of metal anytime soon, but we might. Let's just see. Metal... There's more metal down here. And a little bit up there. Not a whole lot around, though. And it's probably going to be a while before I make the molehole mine. I do want to get these built, though. So we'll just... Uh, do we have a rocket with some rare metals? Yeah, oh, this rocket's ready to go. Gotta wait till the dust storm is over, though. Hopefully we can get over this hump here. Kind of catch up with the production. Okay, I'm going to turn some of this water production off on these extractors. These are the ones that are producing hardly anything. 0.8. Turn those off. Should save some power and maintenance. There are earth sick uh oh, people aren't happy. Really low on machine parts. And these extractors are just chewing through our power as well. Let's turn them off for now. When we get nuclear power later on, we can turn these all back on. But for now, it's just uh, it's eating through our machine parts. So are all these wind turbines. Let's tear, let's tear some of these down. Because this is not a good place for them anyway. And I really want to get moisture vaporator research. But it hasn't been exposed yet. We could order some prefabs. And then we'd be less reliant on uh, water... Water troughs or whatever you call it. Water extractors. I should get my RC... RC rover down there. Picking up all that metal. There's a bunch of metal down here. Let's stick a metal deposit here. So they can pick up all this metal. Still low on, low on machine parts. But as we kind of transition over to these uh, sterling generators, the maintenance is going to go down. As long as we stay ahead of the maintenance. 
Okay, these I turned off. We're not going to construct them right now. We got lots of metal, so we'll, we'll take it easy on the metal for now. Bit of triage here. And we can build that new science institute now. That is going to push research along. The Hawking Institute. Let's stick that in here. 20 electronics. We're going to need more electronics. We got some more money though. We could do another cargo run. What do we need the most? We need polymers, machine parts. Well, we need everything. Get a mix of everything. It's kind of a waste of a rocket, but we need it. So we're running low on everything here, but we got a new breakthrough called uh, hull polarization. Buildings require maintenance less often. That is pretty freaking awesome. So we're going to do that. I'll take utility crops off for now get this done first that's gonna help our maintenance costs because right now our we're, we're, our maintenance for machine parts is higher than our production which is kind of a big issue we barely have enough people working in here that's kind of an issue not quite enough people We could bring it down, we could bring down a rocket full of colonists. We have quite a few. Uh, coward. <laughs> Let's bring down some people. Research is going faster now. Oh, it was going faster. Plugging away, though. This will slowly go up because maintenance is lower, except machine parts. But I'm going to slowly replace all these wind turbines. We could try to go for nuclear. But we don't have enough people to work the reactor just yet. Okay, our supplies are here. I probably want that... Where do I want that? Up here or down there? It doesn't really matter. This landing pad is in use, but it's ready to go, so let's launch that. Now it takes a few seconds before you can actually land the new rocket. Like, if I try to do it right now, it says no. But after about 10 seconds or so, you can land. Okay, our passenger rocket's here, so try to get some people working in here because we're not we're, we're not filling up these two shifts here in the machine parts factory. Same with the polymer factory, so these people should help. There we go. Nice. Fill those buildings up. That'll help this Hawking Institute as well. Might as well put a second shift in there. Maybe I'll bring in another load of people. Do we have the space for them? 66 of 72. Let's put in, let's put in an apartment building. Actually, let's take out, let's take out this living quarters. 14. We could increase the density here with apartments. So we'll take that down, put an apartment building in.
And these guys need some more entertainment, I think. They want some... Well, one wants gambling. Could put some gambling in. Uh, but let's put an apartment in here first. And that'll leave us enough room, I think, to bring in another passenger rocket. So let's do that. 13 matching. Okay, we might have to bring in some people with flaws. Maybe not all the flaws, though. Uh, we have a space bar, so we can bring in alcoholics. We're going to fix these people later, though. Let's just launch with that. Oh, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. We'll have... We'll have housing for them by the time the rocket gets in. I hope. We should. Let's make that a high priority building. Okay, our people are here. Let's get them working. Yeah, we need more scientists. Got to fill up two whole shifts here. New colonists have arrived. Now our machine parts are production is higher than our maintenance. Same with electronics, same with polymers. So if we just waited a while, all these would start to go up, which is a good position to be in finally. Took a while, but we got there. And I'm doing factory AI next, which is a 20% factory output boost. And it doesn't require any power. And then there's the one down here that actually qu requires more power, which we'll do second. And we kind of need some housing in here as well. So I'll probably build some apartments. Kind of low on polymers at the moment, though, so we might hold off. And the storyline hasn't started yet. I thought the storyline would have started by now, but... We'll just wait, and at some point it might. I've been tearing down these wind turbines. I'll probably tear down all these eventually, and replace them with sterling generators. Okay, yeah, that one's good. So our maintenance is going to go way down. Still need more people. Eleven polymers. Uh, what's the output here? Five point one. Let's put an apartment building in there. And we're going to need security at some point. Oh, I could fit security if I took one of these down. But we need these. Or we could replace it with a Hawking Institute over here. And put uh, security in here. Let's take... Mm. Yeah, let's put security in here. Take this out, because this produces research faster. And... Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of those scientists should move over here. Now hopefully they can kind of migrate through these two tunnels. I don't know if this needs to be connected directly to this. be interesting. Yeah, I don't... If you guys know, let me know in a comment if every dome has to be connected to every dome or whether they can migrate to their job through here. Otherwise, it's kind of not very good. I think there's people complaining about no jobs in here, though. Unemployed, even though there's a job over here. Hmm. 
I don't think they can migrate. Might be an issue. But let's get that security building in. Because we do have renegades. And we do have a few tiny slots here we could put uh, put some gardens in here. Actually, we could fit another we could fit another whole building in here. I could have kept my science institute, I think. I guess we'll put it back in. <laughs> is that what I want, though? I think it is. Yeah. Since they can't seem to migrate from here to here, maybe I'll have to hook up a tunnel between these two. That means this apartment building has to go. Yeah, it sucks that they can't come over here. We could put another polymer factory in. Keep them busy. Or put this back online. But I kind of wanted to get these built first. Five machine parts. Yeah, let's finish building these out. I don't know if I'm ever going to use all five or four of these. But I want to get them built before this deposit is gone. Because you can't build them after the fact. We have a bit of a single point of failure right here with this shuttle hub. If this goes down, which it is right now, it can't get electronics moved over from where we're making electronics, which is over here. So we've got to manually move the, move the electronics over. So what I'll probably do is put another shuttle hub up here, just in case one goes down, we have a backup. Where can we stick that? Maybe up here, nice little space for it. It's pretty close to the fuel. And I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up. It's getting pretty long. Hopefully the storyline starts in the next episode. Kinda of wanna see what that's all about. And we're going to probably put in some more domes next time for entertainment just to keep everyone happy because comfort's pretty low. And I want to replace a lot of these wind turbines with sterling generators. Hopefully we get the automated nuclear power because that makes power really easy and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.